Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter board game every single weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live stream, and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter is being ran. And right now, we are about to check out the second most popular game on all of tabletops, that is Root the Marauder Expansion. It's already raised $1.1 million, wowza! Uh, and it has 18 days left to go. Expand roots with rats, badgers, and a host of hirelings. So it's a root expansion. Uh, pretty self-explanatory there. Now, I played root. I played it twice. And I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I thought it was, I thought it was good. I just didn't get what the, all the massive buzz was about. And I actually let my friend Lucy, uh, cause I got a review copy. I let my friend Lucy do a video on it. Cause she really loved it. And I just gave her all the stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping this wows me, maybe it pulls me back in, but I'm more interested to see how it's raised $1.1 million because I've heard through the grapevine that the Kickstarter page itself is a bit confusing, which I find really interesting. So as always, when I go into this video, I want three things to be answered. Do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? So let's go. Bravo. Brav freaking O. <clears throat> so, when I say bravo, here's, here's what I'm going with here. Root is immensely popular. Root is one of those few games that has just earned this respect where when it goes up on kickstarter it's just like oh yeah they're gonna they're gonna do it they're gonna do insane they're just going to do amazing tiny epic is the same way just every time they've launched they have such a good track record that it just explodes and that video that video got me excited to go back and replay root even though i wasn't the biggest fan of root i still think vast is just without a doubt hands down a better game personally uh but that makes me want to go explore more of root and it looks like it upgrades the components or adds different components which are nice <laughs> and create uh potentially different things on the map and wow that just excites me even though once again this is not a game that i'm that excited about root the marauder expansion so uh patrick eight created 300 backed 300 back so he looks like a member of the community i don't know if i really need to go through here and look at this this is what i love seeing I always say you should have a bunch of collaborators on here because running a Kickstarter page is not just about pushing the boat out. It's about paddling that boat across the way. And when you are too busy to do the comments or do the updates or make the do all these sorts of things, this is what I love to see. You know, there are a lot of companies that do not do this. I would say the overwhelming majority of companies do not do this. But if you, they're your employees, why don't you have them in some way uh, being on the Kickstarter page, being present? Like, that just, oh, such good customer service, I have a feeling. Like, I have a feeling there's going to be top-notch customer service when we go through it. So I'll go back. Uh, so this one I don't believe is out, but we'll go back to their, their last Underworld expansion. Make sure the comment section is not a flaming dumpster fire, which I think I would have heard about it if it was. But we always do this due diligence, because there's the prepped, shillet, uh, the prepped skillet right now is the third most popular project on all of Kickstarter. It trades like $450,000, but it is, oh my gosh. You go through the comment section of that, and you see that it's an absolute dumpster fire on every single one of their past projects. And here... Uh, I'm, I'm seeing no one complaining really about anything. Just received the errata stickers, received the errata stickers, received the errata stickers. So there was an issue, and they fixed that issue. And that's about the best thing you could possibly see in the comment, issue, comment section. So, already, uh, do I feel comfortable with can you do it? Yes. Do I want it? Me, personally? You know, that's a hard sell. But yeah, I kind of want it. Which means if you're a Root fan, then obviously, yes, you want it. Because they just nailed that video. That 47 seconds of just absolute brilliance. Uh, because... It just made me want the game, and I didn't even think the game was good. So, yes. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? Hopefully you don't beat around the bush, and you hit me over the head with a price very soon. Don't make me go over here. Oh, actually, I scrolled too far. Oh, my gosh! I love it. I love it. I don't know what my buddy was talking about. I heard my buddy and someone else saying, oh, the Kickstarter is so confusing, and so far... Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Right here! Beautiful! Return to the world of Root with the Marauder Expansion. Raise the woodland to the ground as the fearsome Lord of the Hundreds. Uh, or recover perilous... Okay, so theme. So pledge $50 and you get the Marauder Expansion. Normally it's going to be $80. Expand your game with two new factions and exciting new gameplay options for two or more players to explore. So not solo. Okay. Um, cool. 
Keepers and iron. So this is telling you exactly what's in there. Great. List of the components. Great. Uh, you can, if you really scroll up, you can see that. I'd like that to be bigger. I think if you're that big of a fan, wouldn't you want to actually read about what the last dynasty does? So I'd make those cards. Zip, just zoom in a little bit. Uh, Outcast, the bandit. So we have the river folks hirelings. So this is, this is us moving on to something different, right? What is the river folk hirelings? You have not mentioned the river folk hirelings. This is an entirely new thing you've sprung on me. It's a surprise, but a pleasant one. Team up with a rogue lizard cold set trade with the what the hell? That sounds great. Look at that meeple! That meeple is how you make $1 million. That, that, uh, the warm sun prophet, that's nice, but come on, look at that. That's amazing. Rowdy crowd and devoted crowd for warriors. Uh, maybe this is something they're going to release and show you what it looks like a little bit later. Landmark pack. So you're going into all this stuff before... Oh, that is how confident they are that you are going to want every single thing that they're offering you. They haven't even told me about these things, really. <laughs> but now they're like, hey, buy them. Uh, landmark packs. So explore and conquer new landmarks that can be added so it's going to make the board look cooler. Pledge $80 for more hirelings. Okay, so is this this is a pledge level? <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> this is a pledge level. It's not an add-on. Okay, so this is $130 regularly. So whatever this is is more expensive and bigger than the expansion that I came to see? What the hell is that? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> like, it's like, hey, I came to look at this uh, this spatula, and I walked out with with an Xbox. Like, it's just, this is weird. This level includes, oh, no, 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 okay. Okay, it's just the fact more high, it's just, what the... It looks like it's not... Okay, so it's everything. It's the whale. This level includes everything and adds six new hirelings, each with two variants. So it's... So it's another expansion. Uh, this includes everything above. So is this... What? So it's the whale... But okay. This includes everything above and adds six new hirelings with two new variants. Uh, full art box to restore your hirelings. Can we make that box a little bit smaller? Because I don't think that's going to be the size of the box. And it looks like it's like a big box size. So it's just kind of confusing. I see that and like, oh, is this a big box expansion? I see $50. I mean, it is a big box expansion. I, well, if it, uh, I, I'm, I'm just so confused right now. And now I start to see why, why people said this is confusing. So this is everything I saw before and six new things. And I don't know what size box it's going to be. So this expansion for six cards and six meeples is going to be $50? Is that what I'm reading there? Because that's what it looks like to me. Okay, so this is an $80 game. Get it. You get it for $50. Bu Wait, no, it's $50. So the total value is $80. But this is a $50. Is going to be the estimated... Wait, wait. Center myself. Okay. We can do this. Okay. So, I want the expansion. Because I love the game. The total value is $80, but the estimated MSRP is $50, and this expansion comes with nothing but the expansion? No, or does it, no, it comes with, the, does it come with the Riverfolk High Rings as well? Pledge $50, total value of $80. No, it comes with this stuff as well. And then the $10. Okay, okay, I get it now. It's not clean at all. It looks very confusing. And I think the, the issue is you're trying to, like, say, hey, look how good of a deal. Look how great of a deal it is. But at the same time, I'm like, wait, are we looking at add-ons? What the hell are we looking at? So I totally see that, uh, what they're saying about the confusion. So now this is the $80 pledge, which normally should cost you $130. And it's going to have everything you've seen plus a $50 expansion. But this $50 expansion is only, uh, it had six new hirelings. You also get a handsome full art box to store all your hirelings. So it's a bigger box with six, <laughs> six components in it. Okay, so 12, because you get the cards and get... So, yes. So just why don't you just call this the freaking deluxe box with an extra expansion or something? It's not clean. All right, so now we get the Clockwork Expansion 2, which... <laughs> okay! Uh, meeple's not included. What? <laughs> oh, come on. This is, this is weird. Okay getting through this this level includes everything above and adds the clockwork expansion too which contains automated versions of the four river folk and underworld expansions so this is what i need to play solo okay and i can buy this i can buy this separate right can i this close everything above oh oh 
Um, hmm. So in order to enjoy this game solo, you need to buy the More Hirelings expansion. You can't just buy the base game and then this. Because that's what I'm reading right now. I don't like that. That just feels off. Also, it contains new traits to spice up the fact... So, this contains automated versions of the four river folk and underworld factions. Are these the underworld factions? No, these are not the, the river worlds or the underworld factions. So, why would I need to get this in order to get that? That seems wrong. And I hope they fix that. Or I hope that's wrong. Because that, like, that just seems really crummy. Like, hey, I, I, don't, I don't want this. I just want the solo. Uh, I hope that's wrong. New content. Keepers and Iron, Lord. Of the, so this is you telling us. Okay, so this. Okay, so it is add-ons. Cool, awesome. Looks confusing up there. This box contains automated versions of the Four River Folks as the Underworld faction, as well as the. Tra okay, so cool, cool. Strike that from the record. You get it. You get that, and you're good without the solo. Great. I was worried about that. Uh, plushie for this campaign, and they <laughs> uh, they were nice enough to send uh, the last plushie for when they release Root. And I got to tell you, these plushies are really nice quality. <laughs> My kids still love that plushie and still play with that plushie, so that that is that is a really cool one. First impression: Take a sip of Root tea and hold on tight. I just played with the hirelings, and it was the best two-player session of Root I have ever experienced. Honestly, Root is so much greater than the sum of its parts. It's a game of stories and tales. It is a game that keeps on giving. These new additions within the Marauder expansion are new and innovative, and yet feel like they've always been there i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that quote i don't know it just feels so forced like yeah i don't know going head to head with the keepers of the i mean it does give you valuable information about the two-player thing i will say that uh and that that is like the highlight of that for me but i'm still like a c minus on that maybe d plus just just you, you're trying too hard sam uh go but again uh, maybe I just don't try enough. And that, a lot of people probably agree with. <laughs> Going head-to-head -head with the Keepers and the Warlords was an interesting puzzle to solve. Be prepared for a solid two-player experience with the new hirelings, but most of all, I am looking forward to all the unique experiences the new factions bring when they are incorporated in-game with the base ones. I am dreaming of the Eerie and the Warlord causing tension-filled chaos with the other factions have to face. Now this, this, Ella got deep into the weeds. Like, you, I just feel like this one was generics. This one is like, oh, I can't wait to see how these two factions just rub against each other. And, I, you you know, you get that feeling with, like, Dominion. There's so many times where I play a card, I'm like, oh, I wish this card was with this card so we could just break the game. Uh, or make it crazy. And I like that. So, I really, I like that quote. Hey, Ella, we've all been playing a lot of two-player games lately. Uh, the Marauder expansion is designed to improve two-player root, and I appreciate leading your games putting the effort to create a positive experience at a lower player count. I found the Rats and Badgers a solid, well-balanced two-player game. I like that quote as well. Um, I appreciate that leader games put in the effort to create a positive experience at a lower player count, which is pretty much saying, hey, I yeah, wasn't a big fan of it two players before, but now, now it's much better. Uh, and I'm really glad they, they did that. that, 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 that that's that little nugget of honesty. A little nugget of honesty. I love it. Love it. A. Uh, no, I can't give it an A. I think that one's really good. A minus. But that was... Great ones. With your support in 2019, the Otherworld Kickstarter brought Root to more players than ever before. In the years since the game release, Root continues to enjoy a vibrant and welcoming community of blah, blah, blah. New to Root. Root is a fully say symmetric. How do I get it? Uh, on Oh, so you can buy the base game. Oh, oh, so you can't buy the base game on here. And that's, ooh. Ooh, they're driving traffic away from Kickstarter. And so they are pretty much, man, and they still have over a million dollars. Which means they are sacrificing... How much money's going on in the other end? Like, whoo! Oh, Patrick, you're doing good. Good for you. Get Root Digital from Direwolf. That's awesome. Yeah. Great. I didn't even know this was a thing. I would actually like to play this because that was one of the things. Just Root just dragged for me. Man, I got to check that out. <gasps> Coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Whoa, cool. Okay, that gets me excited. Uh, buy Root base game. Uh, cool, your words. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care about the artwork ones. Like, board game of the year. Yes, artwork presentation whatevs innovative yeah, it's good uh is innovative innovative go play Vast. i, I just I, I love vast hello the digital version looks really great yeah i'm gonna have to check that one out after this uh so root tribute print and play shipping here we go okay so i'm getting i'm getting so so amazed with the glitz and the glamour and the weirdest do i want it yes can you do it yes how much is it yes ish and now we get to the shipping hopefully it'll be clean and clear shipping will be charged post campaign and backer kit View estimated shipping rates by country. Ooh, making me click on it. Interesting. I don't like that. I don't like you making me click on it. Save me a click. 
just copy paste this. Uh, Fifteen bucks. And this is is this is this everything? Is this everything we're getting here? And so is this the whale? Because I'm assuming the whale is what most people are going to get here. Marauder expansion just itself, eight hundred fifty. That's that's a, like that right there is like a great Kickstarter for so many people. It's like we had eight hundred fifty. We're gonna make a fifteen hundred shiploader. It's just like wow. And then we so we get the Marauder pledge with more high links. So this is the larger box, right? So this is just the base game. This is the base game. Wait, 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 wait. Did you? I want to go look at this real quick because I think so. So we got fifty bucks. Yes. And then, okay, so no. So I don't, yeah, I don't like that. This whole area here has all the information you need, but the layout of it is just so ugly and confusing. Like, so here's pledge $50, but you don't actually, when you pledge $50, oh wait, no, you do. Never mind. Ah, Riverfolk Hireling. Okay, so you do. So there's the 50. Here's the 80. I th I, okay, I take that back on that part. Never mind. Uh, so, in that 3,542, and then all the new stuff, and here we go, 7,700. So, they have shipped already 11,000 or 12,000. That's amazing. That is so freaking amazing. Uh, despite the fact I still felt like this was, this was a little bit more confusing uh, than I would like it to be. But still... Oh, what am I doing? Uh, FAQ, updates, comments, get out of here. What's the difference between this Kickstarter and the retail version? Cool, that's a good question. Uh, will other root products be available as add-ons? Nope, they're going to be on our store, which I think is a solid choice. I mean, you've got what they want. Make it come to you. Will you be translating this game in other languages to help our language partners? We'll be doing the usual process of waiting. Okay, cool. Great, and check out my pledge later. Absolutely. So, yeah, great, on point. The only thing I'd recommend here is doing what uh reload did so go look at colossal games reload faq and what they did in their faq which was absolutely freaking brilliant uh was they have like uh tab shipping actually i can show you right here let me do it in the live stream here so i can show you it's like this so it's like boom nope like you know what, what's going on can i have type yeah here we go so uh shipping so then it would pop up like that and so that way they would all kind of rank together. And so it was like, oh, here's the shipping section. And oh, here's the, the pledge manager section. And oh, here's this section. And it just made it so clean and clear, especially because you have 21. Because this is like, this is just like, this is a lot to sort through. Uh, so maybe organize it a little bit. All right, updates, 1,000 comments. First print and play, The Keepers of the Warlord. Cool, print and play. <laughs> uh, most people don't care, but that's still awesome for the people who do care. Woo, awesome. And not to mention people can actually look at it. Today's live stream, have questions, contact support. As always, the best way to contact us is in email, because yes, it is. Quick question on the Warlord. Thanks for the... Okay, cool. And they look, and then we see collaborators. Uh, so one, two, three collaborators popping in, it looks like. So that's great. Great on point customer service. Looking good. I want to see what the most engagement was. So, and that's the other thing. Like, I feel like, I feel like they should definitely ask like, a very specific question in the next comment, or in the next update. Like, what two factions are you most excited to see come head to head or work together or do whatever in the game? Leave, let us know in the, uh, in the comments or in the updates. And then like, boop, 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 that, that would get, because it wouldn't just get discussion. Like, I think this would be great or this would be great. It would be like 14 more people are like, oh yeah, that'd be so cool. Because if also if this person were to come in then they would have the special thing with the, duh. and, and it's like, boop, that's the Kickstarter is like, Hey, look at that. That thing needs to stay at the top of the popularity chart which means more people see it. Uh, so yeah, that's why I love when people ask questions in the updates. Never had information on landmarks. Never need more information on landmark packs. This opens the door for a lot of user mods. Cole, when will Chronicle be reduced to effect setup? Uh, and yeah, look at this, 43 minutes ago. By the way, the rats, they look absolutely so cutthroat and fun. I'm usually a table talk faction guy, but these guys look amazing. This is great. And that's what I was talking about. You have all these people who <laughs> chances are cannot play Root right now. As much as they'd like to be playing Root right now, uh, they're not. And I I'm not that way with Root, but I am that way with other games. So I completely understand it. There's some games where it's like I would drop everything and just play it. And I love discussing how the different parts of the game interact and rub against each other. And so, yeah, harness that. And it looks like you you got it going on popping in the comments section. So in the end, uh, Root, in the end, I will give it a 2. So I always give it 0, which means keep on going. 1, back it, and then bro come back in the last 48 hours. Or 2, uh, back it for the whale. And in this one, oh, that's interesting. There's nothing really to come bring you back now that I think about it. Aside from the discussions. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, no stretch goals, no daily unlocks, it doesn't look like. Okay. 
I'm still gonna give it a two because I mean, if you love Root, this is a no-brainer. It looks like it's an insanely safe back. So and get the plushie. Your kids will love it if you have kids. And if you don't have kids, then you'll you might love it because it's really cool. <laughs> if you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, if you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure. Oh yeah, because I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers. Celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye bye. End the stream now.